Hello everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video and no, we are not gonna review the Smasher here, I wanna talk about a different subject. What I have in mind is a possible nerf of the Smasher. Why? Let's first introduce the subject, why this tank is probably, at least in my opinion, being nerfed. And you have to keep in mind that there are no, n nothing had been confirmed, I mean, Wargaming never said they will, uh, they will, uh nerf the smasher it's just my expectations and maybe uh, my analyze of uh, the situation so why first thing first you all know the smasher is not balanced at all i mean if you check the charts this is the tank that has the best average damage per battle the best uh survival uh, no no i think that's how we say it survive survivability I think that's how we say it, I don't know, but you understand what I mean. And also, it's the tank that has the best win rate. Out of all the tier 7s, that's the one that is working the best. And a tank working the best is not necessarily OP, but here, clearly, we all know why this tank is OP. You, you just aim, you shoot, you put your 640 alpha damage in. That's what makes it incredible, and the HE as well. So, uh, we all know this tank needs a nerf. Now, why? Why do I think that they are gonna nerf it? Because of one thing, they sell it again. They are selling the tank again, if it, even if it's in crates. Why are they doing that? The, beside the fact that they want money, which is logic, but uh, why are they selling it back? You have to remember the first time they sold the Smasher. It was for around 30 euros, which is quite expensive for tier 7, because usually back in the days, a tier 8 was worth 30 euros, but not a tier 7. Tier 7 was around 20 euros. Ah, the thing, <laughs> the game has changed. Ah, uh, goddammit. But uh, yeah, they, they sold it for 30 euros. It was quite expensive at that time for this tank, uh, because nobody knows how uh, the tank would react in battle, so people were skeptical uh, about buying the tank. And Wargaming didn't sell a lot of these. I mean, they sold it good, it was a good sale, but they didn't sold a lot of them. And therefore, if you don't have a lot of players playing a tank, you don't have enough players to analyze the statistics in order to know what to change about the tank if it's broken. And that's a huge problem in World of Tank Blitz. To be for the developers to be able to change a tank, they need to have to, to gather a lot of statistics, but not on, for example, a thousand players. They need more, more. They need more statistics. They need at least, uh, let's say, maybe one player out of ten or one player out of fifteen to know. Uh, how the tank would react, at least that's what I think. And that's why they are selling it again, to gather statistics in order in the future to be able to nerf the tank. Because you have to remind one thing, the tank is a collectible and not a premium tank, and in Wargaming politic charts, they are allowed to modify as they wish the collectible tanks. Therefore, the Smasher is not far away from a nerf. Wargaming can do whatever they want to this tank. It would be a different story if it was premium, but here it's definitely not the case. But before uh, before uh, crying over your Smasher you just acquired uh, in crates right now that you spent a shit ton of money on it, I have something to block my theory as well. I have two main things. The first one is that the Smasher is extremely popular and the more a tank is popular, the harder it is for Wargaming to touch it because they will lose players if they do something like this. That's, uh, of course, they will, they will lose players because the Smasher is one of the most popular tanks, even if a lot of players hate the tank, it's still incredibly popular. That's the first thing. And the second thing is that, as you can see, probably in the 6.7 update, Wargaming decided to upgrade the armor on a lot of tier 7. And 
why did they do that? Because, I mean, the tanks were performing, I mean, well, there was not a real difficulty. They did that, at least in my opinion, to counter the Smasher sale. Because they know that as they, they, there are going to be more and more Smasher because they sold it, we are going to see more uh, and more tanks getting destroyed by them. That's why they, Wargaming decided to give them a little boost. So I'm not sure about what I'm saying right now. That's what I'm expecting in the future. But if it happens, you have to get to, to remind one thing. This update, they sell the Smasher. The, the upcoming update, they are analyzing all the statistics they can gather from the new players playing the Smasher and uh, effectively knowing what they have to nerf on the tank and in the 6.9 update, so in two updates, they will release the new version of the Smasher. That's how I see things, maybe it's not gonna be the case, we don't know, that's just my expectations. Tell me what you think in the comments about this and I'm gonna tell you, uh, probably see you tomorrow in a new video.